Hi everyone, so today uh, we're going to talk a little bit about three different approaches that are taken to learning about Java in the EECS 10, uh, 21 class. So there are three basic platforms that we end up using in 1021. We've got um, uh, IntelliJ, which is an IDE. We've got the Java Shell, which is the terminal-based approach to uh, interactively programming with uh, Java. And then we have Virtual Programming Lab, which is found on Moodle or eClass. Now, let's just go over the three of them. So basically, uh, IntelliJ or Eclipse, if you're using Eclipse, it's a standard uh, industry, sort of standard uh, development environment that's typical for the workflow of anybody that's doing any programming or development using Java. Now, it's fantastic because it allows you to uh, create applications. You can... Um, write it up as would be typical of an IDE and then you can have uh, graphs that show up in response to things and you can you can have uh, serial interfaces and whatnot you can call in libraries using Maven um, it's got great color syntaxing it's got hints with little light bulbs that go off it's a fantastic learning environment um, very fully featured and it can be a handful to get your uh, your mind around now if you want to test out little concepts, then sometimes a better idea, a better approach is to use something called the Java Shell, which is an interactive way of creating um, snippets of code or testing out concepts. So if I wanted to say, for instance, uh, figure out what, um, uh, how an, um, an array um, worked, okay? So I wanted to make an array of integers, so my array like that, and, um, and I wanted to set it to values of 10, 20, 30 like that. I can try it out and and this will allow me to uh, then perform other uh, instructions maybe I could do something like uh, my array dot length I could try that out and these are easy to do they're interactive it's very fast it's very responsive um, in, in many situations this is an ideal way to examine concepts or methods uh, methods being sort of general methods um, not object-oriented methods but general methods of approaching problem solving computational thinking you can do that in the in the shell itself now the third way that we approach learning and teaching about java in this class is to use virtual programming lab and here's an example on eclass right here so as a student so i'm currently logged in as a as a fake student here okay there's an exercise that's supposed to be done and so um, there's uh, an example of the requested file that you'll be asked to work on and this is a stripped down version of a Java program. All it is is a class with a method inside of it. There's no main method, there's none of that. You're just supposed to go in, edit the code like this. Uh, maybe you want to try it out, so you, you run it and it'll tell you, it'll give you some feedback saying if this is good or not. Well, it turns out there's a whole bunch of errors in here, so I got to go and fix that. And, um, and so before I submit it, I'm going to fix it and I would go fix it like this go like this right here, comment that out there, I go and save it, and this is all being done inside of the web uh, interface. I run it again, and we'll see what uh, what transpires when it gets compiled, we'll have a bunch of tests to run, and that works out great. So I exit out there, and now I can submit for grades. And we're going to take a look to see, and it says, yes, I got a mark out of that. And, uh, and so you know that your homework has been submitted and, and you've got a preview of what your grade is going to be for that. And then you can go to the grade book and check it out. These three different approaches, we've got the standard IDE, we've got the stripped down version of Java in J shell, and we've got this sort of testing framework for grades um, as part of the course within VPL, where you're only supposed to work on a small portion of an overall program with the rest of the program being hidden from you. Um, basically sort of in the background, like this, where we've got the stuff in black over here, which is something that the T's and I have coded up, the green stuff right here, which is the testing framework, and then you in the middle are doing the stuff in blue right here, a class and a method inside that class that gets examined by the stuff in black and green behind the scenes hidden from you. So VPL has portions that are hidden from you. 
and one portion that's exposed to for grades. You've got the IDE where everything's exposed, but it can be really involved to get your project done. And then you've got JShell, which is a stripped down version of Java that allows you to examine concepts interactively and quickly. Those three things each have their own strength and they have different roles within the learning that we do in 1021. Mm -hmm.